Welcome everybody to another episode of the Shake and Bake. I'm Alex and I'm here with Trent and his S13 Coupe. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be installing a fresh set of Power Trick coilovers on this baby right here. And we're also going to install a catalog part of, I mean a catalog of SPL parts. So we have tow rods, rear upper control arms, tension rods that are going to go onto this car and um, we're gonna get it all dialed in. We're gonna be lowering it quite a bit, so it's not gonna be at this monster truck height anymore. And after that, Trent's gonna be taking it over to Corner 3 Garage tomorrow morning to get it all aligned and get it all dialed in. So um, stay tuned, guys. Uh, we're gonna be installing all this stuff uh, right now. So what SPL did on their latest revision is um, they went with uh, Made in USA FK bearings. So these are Teflon lines, self-lubricating, and um, they're, you don't need dust boots because they self-clean and self-lubricate. They also went with titanium hardware. So this is the jam nut made of titanium. And this is the uh, Allen that's going to lock the uh, adjustment setting for the uh, caster. So what we have to do is we have to close it all the way in. Make sure this is all the way in. So when we put this in, at least it's even. So that's all the way in that way. And this guy. We got that all the way in, we got that all the way in. What we're going to do is we're going to match, we're going to try eyeball this at least to the point where we need to extend this middle hybrid adjuster so we get these two points at least close, you know, eyeball these as close as possible so that way the caster is at least close enough. So, um, okay. So you got it straight? Yeah. Okay, so you just keep opening this out. This is the beauty of the hybrid adjusters. You can actually just turn this one turnbuckle in the middle and it extends that out and pushes this out at the same time. So let's see approximately where we're sitting at right now. About seven and a half degrees caster already in there. Oh, really? These came factory like just closed all the way. So we're just we're just trying to line the car prox this is Close enough. Nah, it's pretty damn close. We'll call it, call it right there. The actual rod end with the uh, FK bearing, that actually threaded out that amount. And then the turnbuckle that threads into the actual tension rod itself, it actually threaded out the same amount as well. So it, basically, when you turn the middle, it automatically will pull both pieces away from each other uh, together. All right, so we're gonna put this in now. You have the hardware, the new hardware. So with the SPL arms, they give you this two threaded points right here because they have a, a shield that you can put on here that directs air to the back of the rotor and the brakes. So they have like a little brake air deflector thing. But since we're not using that brake air deflector thing, we need to put the hardware just in there anyway because that's a weak point and if you don't put the hardware to take up that area it could it could crack or it can get messed up so we're gonna put that hardware in there and supply all the hardware which is really nice it's all grade 10.9 stuff so all really high quality no BS <laughs> So what are you doing right there? Just checking this preload. It's actually pretty aggressively set. That's good. Now we're installing the tie rods. Inner and outer tie rods? Inner and outer tie rods. Moog S14 inner and outer tie rods made in USA. Good stuff. Taking off the inner tie rod with a mota? Yeah, we were working on this caca car because all fucking dirty. Look at this guy. Oh, oh my. Oh shit. Took off this OEM, I guess, wire. Take out the boots, you can get to the screw. Then this. Oh yeah, you gotta hammer that. You gotta bang them off. And break it. Does it break loose by your hand? 
You use a jack. It's fucking trenzy. Can't really see, but there's um. He's hammering down a. Well, I mean, if you have to locking plate for the inner tie rod. Are you sure your wreck's not leaking? Inner tie rod out. Pretty dirty ass car over here. We're going up, he gets tight. He's like, yeah, I can make it. He's going like. The whole, like, the frame of the truck. It's okay, crazy. friend. What are you doing, dude? It's like, it's kind of like camera. Were you coming out in the, in the video? Yeah. It's your car? Sounds like a little bump. Why are you so sensitive, bro? What did I do? Why are you recording me? Frankly, I go, I got diesel. I like diesel, like, fucking, uh, it's bulky. I don't like So we got the... So you got the inner and outer tie rod in. We did it in the middle of the fucking winter. Tension. SPL tension rods are in. Power tricks coilovers are in. Moog S14 inner and outers are both all us all, all in. Torquing everything down yes. now at this point. Nice. Yeah, well, yeah. It's a fucking. Good... We'll to see get you guys back in a few when we're doing the rear. the front. Now. Now we have to do the rear. Nice. Oh my god. Bro, it's from... Light up fire, light up fire. Light up oh, light it on fire. Yeah, yeah. Wait, your gas tank hey, right my there. freaking gas tank No, it's not gonna do shit, don't worry. Bye, guys. This guy. This is like from 1991 right here. What are we doing on the rear on this? Well, We're basically you. putting new coilovers. We're changing the rear upper control arm to SPL and we're changing the toe arm to SPL as well. So we're putting adjustable links on the toe and on the upper control arm. Nice. Yep. And the power tricks are gonna go, the core are gonna go in. Yeah. Construction. There you go. Oh shit, we got a fucking we got to to that. The big old eccentric bolt out of there. Look at this monster. <laughs> it elite, like this weight reduction alone right here if you take this out. <laughs> Yeah, we had set the rear upper control. So this is an SPL, the newest generation of the rear upper control arm. They um, got rid of one of the jam nuts. So in order now, instead of using a jam nut for the rear upper control arm, they have a dual alum, uh, a dual titanium um, clamping mechanism here with the titanium hardware. And basically, when you tighten it down, it pinches in this area, which prevents this part from actually, the, the hybrid adjuster from actually uh, threading out or in. So it kind of uses a similar concept to how they use this little turn um, Allen, this Allen hardware here to clamp down this clasp. So now there's no um, jam nuts at all utilized on the rear upper control arms. On the toe arms, they still have the uh, the clasping mechanism here, but then they still have a traditional jam nut to lock the bottom. But the rear upper control arms are all new style, so it's cool that they do this. And this is all billet aluminum. Good stuff. Nice quality. What are these guys doing over here? Uh, they are taking the uh, stock arms out, so we got the factory rear upper control arm out here. And we just got the toe arm out, so. We can measure the toe arm just for reference right now. Guessed it. <laughs> hey, hey, we got a plumber over here. Hey, no, we don't want to see that. No, fool, he took it out just for So, you. how was your day today? Uh, today was really good. It was really good. We got the SPL arms, we got the tension rods, the toe arms, the rear upper control arms. We installed all of the power tricks coilovers. And uh, we did a pretty good job setting up the right height. It came out really well. I mean, this is me at my best. Just eyeball the height and get it to be even. So I'm happy with it. But yeah, it was a very successful day. We've got a lot of good parts in and then Trent's gonna get it aligned tomorrow. We had everybody get in here. We also had some fucking steak and some uh, tacos and like mashed potatoes. So it was a good day. It was really good. So anyway, Trent's car is now looking way better than it was before, and he's pretty stoked about it. Got the LMGT2s, got the nice parallel ride height, he's tucking a little bit of tire back here. Yeah, it's looking good, he's got some gap there, so he's still got to roll the fenders before we can pull it out a little bit, you know, camber it out some more, but it's in there. Good. 
this guy's gonna be stoked on this shit, bro. All right, so see us uh, next time. Yeah. yeah, thank you guys for sticking up, sticking by with us, and we'll see you next time in the next video, in the next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you got that already? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but make sure you say it for me this time. No, I got something else for that, bro. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment, baby. There you go.